My name is Lottie Mogarg. This is my new novel, Kiss Me First, and you're watching Book Zone. Lottie, what's Kiss Me First about? Kiss Me First tells the story of a young computer geek called Layla who is hired to take over the online life of a, a depressed woman who wants to kill herself. So the idea is that Layla will assume her identity and that none of this woman's family or friends will know that she's, uh, she's slipped away. So your character, Tess, wants to commit suicide and convinces another girl to pretend to be her, to fake her identity. That's such a wonderful idea. Where did you get it from? Um, I came up with the idea back in 2007 when Facebook was still a relative novelty and I spent a lot of time on it and a lot of time thinking about what it was doing to our relationships and also how we all project ourselves online. It's in a different way to how we are in real life. And I realised that I wasn't seeing my real life friends very much, but I, I knew all about their lives from their Facebook updates, but I didn't actually see them in the flesh. And I started to think that maybe what would happen if they didn't actually exist um, in real life and that all I had of them was this simulation of our relationship online and actually it could be quite a long time before I actually saw them in the flesh. Well it's such a statement about the modern world, the fact that it is possible to be dead and yet to be alive in cyberspace. Well lots of um, articles have come out recently about what is going to, something which hasn't yet been tested which is what's going to happen when we all die and we leave behind all these huge caches of our information online. I think it's, you know, people are having to come to grips with this because it's been so Social networking is so new that we haven't yet really had to face it. But yes, I think it's, um, it's a fascinating new issue in our lives. So do you think that social networking, does it pose any dangers in, in the real world? It's, it's just a different, this sort of simulation of relationships you have online is often actually quite appealing. Can, it's, in a way it's more appealing than real life because it's, you can control it, there's no messiness, you know, you can project yourself in exactly the way you want to be seen. And I do think there's a danger that people just shy away from real life encounters because they're less easy, less easy to control. But there's lots of good things about it too. I don't, want to be, I don't want to be completely down on it. Well, this is your debut novel. It's been billed by critics as the talented Mr. Ripley for an online age. What do you think of that description? God, it's wonderful. Yeah, no, I was, I was thrilled to hear that. Um, I didn't really set out to write a thriller. It was an accidental thriller. So I've, I've, I've sort of found myself in this thriller genre, which I didn't really, like I said, I'm thrilled, I'm, I'm thrilled about, but I didn't really intend it. So, I mean, any, you know, any comparison to Patricia Highsmith is okay with me. Well, good luck with this book. Well, what are you doing next? I am working on my next book. Um, I'm in the research stage, which is my favourite bit, so I'd happily stay in this stage for ages, looking online and going to Spain. It's set in Spain, so a holiday in Spain is my next uh, research trip. Excellent. Look forward to reading it. Thanks Marty, very much. Thank you very much thank indeed you. for joining me. So the book is Kiss Me First and the author is Lottie Mogark.